Jay lost his phone a couple days ago. Uh, we know about where it's at. We were uh, at a place where we were volunteering and we had to leave our truck there overnight uh, because we had so many tools between our car and the truck. It just made better sense to leave the tools on site. In the meantime, the snowplow showed up and Jay's truck was in the way. So he jumped out of the car real quick to get the uh, truck moved because we had about uh, 12 inches of snow, I think, in, in four hours. Uh, so uh, the plow had to obviously get that out of the way before we had everybody else show up. Well, his phone was in his coat pocket and somehow in the way of the action of him shoveling and in and out of vehicles, whatever the circumstance might be, the phone dropped. We didn't realize it until after the snow plow had, was about halfway done. So um, that was two days ago, I think it was. And um, we were trying to do find my phone on our iPhone and I was actually able, successfully able to uh, locate it now according to what we were able to find at home. So we're on our way right now with <laughs> a couple of shovels and pickaxes and God knows what else uh, because it shows that it's in one of the five to six foot uh, piles of snow that the plow hit. It's working because it's resonating a ping. So that's a good thing. Um, it's what 12 degrees 14 degrees it was 12 degrees when we left the house so that phone has been sitting in that snowbank for that long and uh, we're just trying to get there it's over an hour away so we're trying to get there to see if we can find the phone and pray that it still works so off on the adventure that this is the first time for us that this has ever happened. I'm always misplacing my phone, but neither one of us thankfully have never lost a phone before now. Uh, so, it's an adventure. To your left. It's all smealies right here. Yeah, well. So this is what you get when you ping the phone at 12 degree weather and the snow plow pushed it <laughs> in the snowbank. <laughs> it's not funny you guys. I was out there helping him, but it's like glare ice at the bottom and I'm slipping and sliding everywhere. The noise you hear in the background is Piper. And now the car alarm's going off. <laughs> so tell me what that phone is, what that is in your hand there, big guy. My phone that got pushed into that snowbank by the snowplow. We love that my find my phone app. So just to give you guys an idea, we're about 50 yards away from that snowbank there, and it's about five to six feet tall. Um, and this we are sitting right here is where we were and where the phone 
ended up. The snow plow grabbed a hold of it wherever it fell on the parking lot and ended up there. And by the way, it's completely intact. Not even the screen got broken. So, but uh, I can't say, look at me, honey. I can't say that his face would fare it out any better. Um, he had a hole saw incident. He was had uh, the hole saw uh, drill above his head and it kicked back. So he's uh, right there. He really should have had stitches, but um, it seemed to close up well and well, he didn't want to shave his mustache. So a lot of people are saying that ironically, those marks right there match my ring marks and I am left-handed. So they're trying to say that you know, you I'm know. I'm starting a battered husband support group shortly. Because <laughs> then she wanted to super glue my face. <laughs> I did. Because <laughs> it wouldn't stop bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> and if it accidentally got on my lips and super glued my mouth together, oh well. <laughs> and you hear her laughing. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we feel very fortunate that everything worked out okay, and we're on to the next adventure. Okay, so what I have tr decided to try today is I am going to take one of the waffles that I made the other day, and I am going to put it in a base here and toast it and then put apples over it uh, and roast it as a form of basically an apple pie, skillet style. Um, haven't done it before, but I love waffles. Jay loves apple pie. So we're just gonna see where that takes us. We're done. Turn this down. It is pretty. And we're gonna let it sit for a minute and I'm gonna whip up some whipped cream. It smells so good, you guys.
really good. Is it worth doing again? For sure. Like a really, like, amazing stuffed French toast. Mm -hmm. Apple stuffed French toast with walnuts, which but is not, really what it is. Not like sweet, like super sweet, like you'd get in a restaurant. It's just very good. Okay. Because the apples are soft, they're nice, they're, you know, it's, uh, yeah. it's just really good. Well, so we're going to add one to our staple. When we get tired of just eating waffles and we want to do something one step up, this is it. Mm -hmm. Isn't he beautiful? He let me just pick him right up. So I don't know to what degree Tucker got him. I saw him flying low and Tucker snatched him out of the air as he was flying low. But I think he was already, something's not right with him because he's been resting at the bottom of the feeder often. Not just the, his tail feathers. Look, he's really watching Jay. Yeah. I don't know what to do with them. I want to set them someplace safe. Where are we going to set you, bud? He looks like he's getting ready to go. What do you think, dude? Tucker got a hold of him. He, he's probably messed up. But. Well, I stopped him. Or at least I tried to. He's looking like he's waking up a bit. Like he's... Man, is he beautiful. He's not even attempting to, to peck at my hand. I'm just not convinced that he was healthy to begin with because I've been watching him the last couple of days and I don't know if he's doing it because of the weather. You know, it's just been so cold out or... Going to tailgate in my truck. You get better, okay? We're going to leave him here for a little bit, let him recover undisturbed. His breathing is stabilized, but Jay says he doesn't think he's going to make it. But look at his tail feathers. Aren't they beautiful? What a beautiful boy. Or girl. I don't know. I don't know how to tell the difference between a boy and a girl on a blue jay. If one of you guys out there know the difference between a boy and a girl on a blue jay based on coloring, let me know in the comments. I want to pet him, but I don't have the gloves on and I don't trust my, I don't trust that this, he won't get me. How you doing, buddy? So it's been 20 minutes and he's moved. So that's a great sign. Jay's going to love the fact that he left a nice deposit right there on his gloves. Tucker, go. You can see right in that area where Tucker ruffled his feathers on his back. You gotta fly. You gotta fly. Okay. There he is. The Blue Jay survived. He's still not as quick and agile as the rest of them, but he's done really, really well. He's eating good, and he's taking advantage of the bird feeder again. So um, that's good news. So I think it's zero degrees right now. Um, normally we shave Tucker by now, but uh, the temperature has just been so bitter cold that we just can't do it. Um, but you can see... This is what, the third or fourth brushing, hon? Fourth. fourth brushing. And um, if the wind weren't blowing, he could probably lay uh, an outline of Tucker on the ground. It's funny, as soon as Jay grabbed that curry comb, Tucker ran right to him, because he loves it too. He's been itching a lot. <laughs> it's like the wind is blowing right in my face. His fur is so soft, um, almost like Angoran fur. 
on his back and that. And it floats everywhere. So we constantly keep a garment tape roller on hand. And we're very particular. We don't we don't like people to know that we have animals other than seeing them. We don't want to have fur in our food or our clothes. The birds love it when we do this because they come by and they'll grab the fur for their nests. Sounds like Jay's ripping his fur out, but actually you can tell Tucker likes it. Feels good to him. He says you're not done. He says you're not done. <laughs> you think you're done, but you're still getting handfuls of hair off them. He's like, get that side. He says, says you, he's not done. He's such a good boy.